Hi, welcome to another episode of Coach Rob's Connects Thoughts. Today's date is, well, it's the 28th now, but it was, this um, report is for the, the game that was played on the 27th of January, 2023. On the game that I was not at, I was actually at the Victoria Royals game where my friend's cat, my friend Shannon, her cat, Charlie, won a year's supply of pet food from a local, a local, um, a local pet store so that's why i got the charlie team hat on anyway why we're here is for to um to talk about the columbus blue jackets versus the vancouver connects game this is the last game for the connects before the nhl all-star break and it was uh a win for the connects to it was a win for the connects on this night it was a 5-2 final for the um for the vancouver connects over columbus they actually out, also outshot them by a score of 34 to 26 and it was and here's how the scoring went um it was Elias Pedersen getting his 20th of the season at a minute and 25 in assisted by Bo Horva, Horvat that was a short-handed goal right then um just over 30 seconds later Creo Mursko goal um M A R C H Ian K.O. scored for the Columbus Blue Jackets at 2 8 of the first period. Um, then it was, um, that was a power play goal. Then the Vancouver Canucks got a goal from our great defenseman, his fifth of the season by um, um, Quinn Hughes. J.T. Miller got an assist on that goal. So did Bo Horvath. It ended up being a, a big night for Bo Horvath at 4.8 in the end. Um, then Elon McKayoff um, scored at at 19:15 of the third of sorry of the first period this is 13 to the year um assisted by brock buster and bo horvat we did also learn today after the game that Eli mckayoff will have surgery um so he's gonna actually be out for the rest of the season um that's what um was reported by our, the um, gm after the game so we might do a video on that in a, in a day or two when i do more research then going to the second period, there was no scoring. In the third period, at 8.20, Dakota Joshua got his eighth of the season, assisted by Bo Horvat and Brock Bosser, his 21st assist of the season. Then in the third period, um, Elias Pedersen got his 21st of the season at 12.52. And JT Miller got an assist and sorted Quinn Hills. That, that was a power play. Then in the um in the in the dying moments of the game, well sixteen forty two of the game, Kirill Marchenko got his thirteenth of the season, his second of the game. Boone Jenner got got an assist to sort of Johnny Gaudreau, the former Calgary Flame, and that was a power play goal for that particular one. Then the um we'll get you the some of the other stats, the game stats, the shots on goal, we already said it was 34-26 for the Vancouver Canucks. The hits, Vancouver 28, Columbus 22. This is all from the um, Sportsnet website, by the way. Faceoffs won 35 for Vancouver, 24 for, for Columbus. Power plays, we were 2 for 4, and so was Columbus. Um, the penalty minutes was 8 minutes per team. We had 4 giveaways, they had 2. We had two takeaways and they had one and we were out um, block shots for 10, 10 each. There was 18,700 people at the game. Your referees were, were Jake um, Burdeck, Corey Severant, linesman Dan Kelly, and Matt McPherson. Um, probably not sure related if it's related to the great Dan Kelly, the, form, the famous broadcaster. Um, from the ninth, from the seventies and eighties, um, and the three stars of the game, no surprise here, they were all Vancouver Canucks. Quinn Hills with the goal and assist, um, for two points. Uh, total ice time was nineteen minutes thirty six seconds. He was your third star tonight. Elias Pedersen played eighteen minutes and one seconds. He was um, two goals tonight. He was uh, plus one, and Bo Horvath at a four point night, a plus three. 19 minutes and 13 seconds of ice time. Could this be his final game as a Vancouver Canuck?
There are speculation that he could be traded. Um, we've heard he could go to Dallas. Um, New Jersey is uh, another possibility we've heard. We'll do more on that when it actually happens. It's hard to get into um, rumors and stuff because you could say, oh, yeah, he's going to Seattle for Shane Wright. We've heard that one, too. Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to know what's going to happen. It would be kind of ironic if he got traded to New Jersey because we all remember when he was dra originally drafted, um, we we acquired the ninth overall pick for Bor Horvat um, to acquire Bor Horvat, and that was for the goaltender Corey Snyder, right back back in the um, back in the day. So I think this is going to be um, it, it it for this video. Yeah, yeah. Bo Horvat right now is on a on a on a expiring contract, so he's an unrestricted free agent. So the trade deadline is March third, right? And um, if we don't trade him by then, we can lose him for nothing on July first. And that was, of course, the the first round draft pick in 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 two thousand thirteen when he was drafted ninth overall. If you want to see the video on that, um, I. Draft um, search um, to 2013 draft Bo Horvat when G Gary Bettman, uh, uh, the commissioner of the NHL, I think it is. Um, yeah, that's who it is. Um, he he goes up to the mic and says, "We have a trade to announce." And of course, this trade's been this this draft was in New Jersey back then in 2013. And he says something like, "Oh, I think you're gonna hear this one." The New Jersey Devils have traded the ninth, the ninth overall pick to the Vancouver Canucks for a goaltender, Corey Schneider. Wow! And Corey Schneider went out and have a good, a good career in, in New Jersey. Um, um, of course, right now, Bo Harvard's right in the middle of his career. He's 27 years old, from London, Ontario, six 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 feet, 215 pounds, and of course, he's a center and he shoots left. So we're on the season. He's got 31, um, 31 goals, 19 assists. Um, yeah, so his shooting percentage is 21.8. So it's going to go 142. An average minutes of ice time is 20 minutes and 51 seconds. So he'll be big, big skates to fill if he does get traded but we'll have to wait and see um so please like and subscribe i'm sorry i didn't see the game so i couldn't really do much more commenting <coughs> even though we don't play until february i'll still have the odd connect video when there's news so thank you so much for for watching sorry it's a bit late getting up but when the royals play um i i i i'm home later I still have to do videos like this. So anyway, please share the video and like and subscribe and and have a good night. And once again, congratulations to Meow, Charlie Meow, for winning the prize of the Victoria Royals game, a year's supply of pet food from one of the local pet stores here. Thank you so much.